Hey, stranger. <laughs> Figure you come this way once they were done burying Josh. Have a sit with me. <sighs> I wasn't sure what I should bring for drinks. That shitty beer Josh loved so much. That shitty coffee he pretended to like when around his cultured friends. Or the same juice boxes we'd had out here together as kids. Settle on a juice box says ultimately. Well, grape, apple, or orange. A fine choice. Here you are. A toast to Josh, I guess. Look, I'm sorry I didn't say hi at the funeral. I just would have been a bit awkward to throw my arms around you at his funeral, of all places. I know you weren't with him for a good few years, but... Listen, can I ask you something? Do you miss him? Even though he was awful? You can't tell me he's not awful now. Not with... Not with everything that came out before he... I'm sorry. Yelling at you again isn't going to vindicate me. I've already been through the pain of learning my best friend was... A fucking monster. Now you're having to live it. And I'm being a massive asshole about it. I... I'm sorry. I didn't come here to start a fight. It's been a year, hasn't it? Since we last saw each other. No. You don't need to apologize for what happened that night. All you did was invite me out to dinner alongside your boyfriend. Three people that have known each other since they were in their single digits. Getting dinner together and... Me giving you a hug was enough for him to threaten to kill us both if I didn't leave then and there. That... that wasn't on you. <sighs> Here, let me lie down. <sighs> My chest is a bit more defined now these days from lugging camera equipment, but... Just do be plenty comfy if you'd like. There you go. It's too beautiful in our little secret spot by the creek here, isn't it? Yeah. I always wanted to come back sometimes and snap some shots, but... Fuck. I don't even know. When I got the call, it was... 2 a.m. and I really don't know how to cope. It was between Josh, my best friend of 10 years, is dead, and Josh, the belligerent bully who threatened to kill me, is dead. I feel shitty, but I asked about you immediately. I didn't know then that you two had split years ago. But the thought of something happening to you, I... Good. It's... It's so nice to see you again. I thought it'd be more awkward, more painful, but... You're still you, and... I'm still me. And we still love each other. After all this time, the three amigos... Just down one. <laughs> yeah. I can run my fingers through your hair. Whatever you need, I'm here. Hmm? Do I remember how competitive Josh was? 
<laughs> I remember. We had our heads together, looking up at the clouds while the creek ran. You asked us what we wanted to do or be when we grew up. And in the one moment of suaveness I've ever had, I think I responded, I'm gonna marry you. <laughs> Must have had a reaction because Josh was up the next second with his little, No, I'm gonna marry you in a castle with a dragon. And, I mean, damn, what 11 year old can keep up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that man was competitive as all get out. The man dared me to eat 36 tacos, then got mad at me for turning him down and the massive stomach ache he got the next day like I did anything else in Mexico besides some sightseeing and animal watching. True, I did get that shot of one of those gorgeous great Kiskadis snatching a taco out of his hands. Still have that one frame in my office. <laughs> Look, I... I... wanted to thank you, by the way. The day we first met here, just before Josh arrived, you saw how interested I was and just... gave it to me. You gave me a passion to pursue. I still have that camera, even though it's practically falling apart now. It meant everything to me. It still does. He... He hated that you gave it to me, you know? I mean, the man hated everything I did with you that didn't also involve him. He's obsessed over you. Scared me senseless. I guess I sort of hoped that he'd, I don't know, calm down once you two were together. But instead of being paranoid, he could never have you. Now he was paranoid someone would steal you away. I still miss him too. I, I wish he would just gotten some, some fucking help. He had everything, money, fame, glory, even you. For fuck's sake, what sane man could possibly want more? I swear to God, I wish I could just grab his corpse and shake him and scream at him until he wakes right back on up. Does that little annoying bro laugh and then just. just. gets better. Look, I'm. I'm sorry I never tried to reach out. I was. I was scared he was going to hurt you. That's me, though. Always the weak little baby bird. Too scared to call out big mean Josh. You'd think for someone who photographs and films dangerous wild animals, I'd have a bit more of a spine when it comes to my own species. Here's to Josh. The football star turned actor. The high school drunk turned alcoholic. The bully turned beater, and the monster we all saw coming. Rest in peace, brother. We'll pour out a great juice box on your behalf. I hope he's not in any more pain too, sweetheart. And I hope you won't be either, after you had time to heal. You don't have to forgive me, but... I'm going to do my best to make sure you're taken care of, alright? <laughs> I 
I think I'd like to talk things out more elsewhere as well. Yeah. I... God, I miss you. I don't want it to have to be a funeral that brings us back together again. Alright? Maybe a burgers instead? <laughs> Burger it is. <laughs>